Right, right, right. Yeah, right. Well, Cobalt, I'm tall, dark, and handsome as well. Right, you really need to shut up, Harry. You're going to be spending a lot more time in the local hotel. Well, at least I'll have to listen to you talking about yourself. What did you just say? He said, at least you won't have to listen to you talking about yourself. There have been reports that you two are bickering and exhibiting stroppy behavior towards each other. What? No way. Stop reading all that nonsense. Well, body language experts have repeatedly honed in on signs that there may be trouble in paradise. Oh, you know what these body language experts are like. You know, anything for clicks. Yeah, it's terrible when people do stuff just for attention. Well, many have suggested that your hogging of the limelight, Megan, is taking its toll and winding Harry up as he slips into the background, becoming little more than Dr. Watson to your Sherlock Holmes or Mindy to your Mork. Robin to my Batman. Yeah, yeah, I've heard all the stories, you know, I've heard all the rumors and there's not a shred of truth to any of them, okay? Yeah, undoubtedly, you know, the natural order of things, the natural hierarchies between Harry and I are establishing. But, you know, Harry's more than happy to play the role of the sidekick, you know, the, 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 the forgettable supporting cast. Who is he? Excuse me? Happy to play the role of forgettable sidekick. I mean, I mean I've been royal all my life, Megan. You know, a prince. You seem to forget that I was third in line to the throne. Yeah, but, you know, you were never going to be king. Yeah, but I was still a prince. I mean, but what were you? I mean, it's a deal or no deal box girl with a short skirt and a padded bra. Where is all of this coming from? You, you keep going around telling everybody that I'm happy to play second fiddle. Was you're, was you're on headline making trips to Nigeria. You know? Well, when in reality, the only reason anyone's interested about you being in Nigeria is because of me. Oh, really? Well, hashtag just saying. People used to laugh at you, Harry, because you were criminally stupid. Well, they still laugh at me for that. But now they also laugh at me for being bamboozled into marriage to a attention-seeking camera hog who goes around telling everyone she's 42. I am 42. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. Well, Cobalt, I'm tall, dark, and handsome as well. Right, you really need to shut up, Harry. You're going to be spending a lot more time in the local hotel. Well, at least I'll have to listen to you talking about yourself. What did you just say? He said, at least you won't have to listen to you talking about yourself. Well, I feel like I've been conned. You said when we break away from the royal family, we'll have more time to pursue our own interests. Yes, and we have. Yeah, but you're only interested in yourself. Not true. I mean... I'm interested in Nigeria. That's only because you found out that you came from there. And when we got there, you only spoke about yourself. You know, well, that's when you weren't changing clothing or putting on inappropriate jewelry at inappropriate times. I mean, what are you talking about? Well, he's probably referring to the £120,000 worth of jewelry and clothing that you've hopped in and out of during your visit to a poverty-stricken nation. Yeah, well, she has a real talent for hopping in and out of clothes. Yeah, and you've got a real talent for... Oh, nothing. I excelled at art. You didn't even complete your own final assessment piece. <gasps> Who told you that? You! You told me! <gasps> you were actually listening to me, were you? Oh, wow, that's a turn up for the books. You know, listening to me, poor old spare Harry. Instead of talking about your vision and your ambition and your heritage and your books and your documentaries yeah well once a spare always a spare what did you say about my hair that you're losing it at an alarming rate well you've already lost yours i mean don't be fooled you know, underneath this facade she's just a crash test dummy with some strands of black nylon sewn into her scalp <sighs> uh, you two please carry on Hello friends, for those of you who enjoy our content and would like to see more videos released more regularly and with greater variety, we'd very much appreciate you considering supporting the channel. I've left two links in the description box below, one to Patreon, where you can sign up for monthly support, and one for PayPal, where you can make a singular donation if that would be your inclination. Thank you very much.